And hello everyone, welcome to TNL News Breaking October 2nd. We made it to October, finally! Now, let's start with our headlines for today. First, President Trump's positive COVID results. Breaking news overnight, President Trump and his wife, First Lady Melania Trump, have tested positive for coronavirus. Melania Trump at home quarantined and isolated while President Trump at 4.23 p.m. Central Standard Time was transported by a Marine One helicopter to Walter Reed Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. He has had mild COVID symptoms, but his physicians and doctors believe it's safe for him to be hospitalized, as he is part of two major risk factors, his age and his weight. Melania Trump having sniffles and not hospitalized after doctors say she is more likely asymptomatic. Baron Trump and other family members of Trump have tested positive negative, along with Democratic opponent Joe Biden. The White House under deep cleaning today, most staff members off today or working in the Capitol instead. If President Trump goes into a coma or anything worse, the White House officials are ready to invoke the 25th Amendment. Vice President Pence also testing negative for the virus. The National Outreach wishes him and his family our full most sympathy and we hope he has a speedy recovery. Next, the race for vaccine. Moderna and AstraZeneca both saying their vaccines won't be ready until next spring, as Oxford, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson move closer to finishing trials. If a COVID-19 vaccine is developed by the estimated time of end of November to December, the distribution will start in January and finish by spring. It will take until around September to vaccinate everyone in the U.S., and the U.S. will be back to an almost normal by the end of 2021. If the in the process of who gets the vaccine, the vaccine will go in the following order. First, healthcare workers, then frontline workers, then elderly and children from age 5 to 18, and then all children below 18, and then finally the general public. Next, the reopening of schools. New York City public schools reopen back to face-to-face -to -face learning. So far, 25 positive cases reported. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo orders some schools to be closed as those schools could become hotspots like the one in Georgia. NYCPS still debating whether to have in-person classes of 50% or 100%. Across the nation, 500 cases have been reported in schools, including colleges and campuses. The World Health Organization asking U.S. schools to get it together. Next, coronavirus. 25 states now seeing an increase in cases, Montana becoming the worst as daily cases up to 7,000 there. As death rates are lower than 100 in most states, case higher than 1,036. Fears that a third wave this year as the first in March through May and the second in June through August already passed. Sports. NBA Finals Game 2 is tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. Los Angeles Lakers in the lead with one to o. James making great plays as game one. Let's see if he can do it again tonight. The economy. The stock market plunges after President Trump tests positive. Dow Jones, Nasdaq, Yahoo, Google, Tesla, Gold, Diamond, all down up to 5,000%. After the market closed, the company's up, but it will take a few weeks for the market to get back up completely. New reports coming in that six 116,780 hundred people have been employed since June, but 212,879 hundred people have been laid off since July. Signs of return, but also signs of no fix in sight. Space and technology. Set your calendar for October 31st. Hashtag Launch America is back. On October 31st, NASA will launch SpaceX Crew-1 astronauts Mike Les Hopkins as spacecraft commander, Victor J. Glover as pilot, Sochi Nagaguchi from JAXA as mission specialist one, and Shannon Walker from NASA as mission specialist two. In the all new certified SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, America is launching from American soil again. The National Outreach wishes you to have a great and safe day. This is all for TNO News Breaking, the case signing off. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other.